Good morning, friends, and welcome to this week's edition of Tell Me a Story. My name is Miss Katie. Today, we're going to be talking about bugs and insects, since it's springtime, and we're likely going to be seeing many of these animals around our town and our neighborhood, and maybe even by our homes. For our first story, we're going to see a bunch of different kinds of bugs and insects and learn the names of all of them. This story is called Lenny in the Garden, and it's written and illustrated by Ken Wilson Max. I love the Lenny books because they're perfect for toddlers who are just starting to read picture books. You can ask at the library for other books in the Lenny series. There's one about Lenny playing hide and seek, and there's also one about Lenny starting nursery school. Let's see what Lenny's doing today in the garden. Here's Lenny in the garden with Mommy singing a song. His song goes, Mr. Ant, Mr. Ant, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? And we'll put Mr. Ant right there in the garden with Lenny. Miss Spider, Miss Spider, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? And we'll put Miss Spider in the garden with Lenny. Wiggly worm, wiggly worm, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Do you see that wiggly worm? Are you wiggling along? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. We'll put wiggly worm here in the garden with Lenny too. We have three. One, two, three. Three bugs so far. Let's see if we have any more. Butterfly, butterfly, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Fly, butterfly, up onto the board. Do you think there are going to be more bugs? There are. Caterpillar, caterpillar, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Do you see how the caterpillar is crawling across the screen? Yes, that is how caterpillars move. Still more bugs to come. Ladybug, ladybug, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Ladybug up in the garden. Still more bugs to come. Slimy snail, slimy snail, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Put up that slimy snail, slimy. Oh, and this is one of my favorites to have an action with. Let's see if you can guess what the action is before the bug comes on the screen. Grasshopper, grasshopper, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Yes, the grasshopper was hopping around, hopping, hopping, hopping. <gasps> One last bug. Bumblebee, bumblebee, where are you? Here I am, here I am, Zzz. how do you do? And we'll put the bee right on Lenny. It's okay if bees fly by our friends. Yes, absolutely, Lenny's not bothered by the bee. But do you see Lenny anymore? I think Lenny might be hiding in the garden. Lenny Lou, Lenny Lou, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Catch me if you can. Bye. Wow, some of our bugs went with Lenny. And you know what? I bet they're racing to find out what our next activity is. It's going to be a guessing game all about the sounds that animals, bugs and insects make in the garden. Stay tuned.
Are you ready for the guessing game that I promised? We're going to be guessing which bugs and insects are hiding in the rhyme There's Something in the Garden. But friends, sometimes bugs don't make very big noises. So we're going to have to pay very close attention and maybe do a little bit of explaining for you to guess what bugs are coming. We'll start with an easy one. Well, I think an easy one. There's something in the garden that I can't really see. There's something in the garden who could it be? Hear its funny sound. Flap, 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 flap. Hmm, what kind of bug makes a flapping noise? It means that they're a flying bug. But it's not making a buzz, so it's not a flying bee. And let's see if you guess. I'm going to bring out our puppet. <gasps> It's a butterfly. Their wings go flap, 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 flap when they fly. Okay, let's see if we can guess what the next one is. There is something in the garden that I can't really see. There's something in the garden. Who could it be? Hear its funny sound? Tippy tappy tippy tap. Hmm. That would be a bug with lots of legs that maybe scurries. I took these descriptions from another book that I've read with this bug in it. That book is called Dancing Feet by Lindsay Craig. But let's see, this one's a hard one to guess. It's a ladybug. When their feet walking, they go tap, 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 tap. Good job. This next bug is one that gets scared sometimes and changes what it looks like. There's something in the garden that I can't really see. There's something in the garden. Who could it be? Hear its funny sound. Roll. Oop. I peeked it out. I couldn't help myself. <gasps> Roll. Did you see? It crawls like this, but when it gets scared, it goes and rolls up. It's a roly-poly bug. Yes, a roly-poly. We also, you sometimes these are called pill bugs, depending on what part of the country you're from. But I've always heard of them as roly-polies, rolling up. Let's see. The next one coming our way there's something in the garden that I can't really see. There's something in the garden. Who could it be? Hear its funny sound. Do 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 do. That's not the sound of a bug, Miss Katie. That's the sound of a song. But in that song is our bug. I'll hum it one more time. Do 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 <gasps> Did you guess a spider? It was a spider in our song. Great job. There's one last bug to guess. There's something in the garden that I can't really see. There's something in the garden. Who could it be? Hear its funny sound. Blink, blink, blink. <gasps> a lightning bug or a firefly is who we found. Their light goes blink, blink. Do you see? Oh, good. I'm so glad that's showing up on my camera. I wasn't sure if it would. Yep, the fireflies go blink, blink. That was a great job guessing. And speaking of fireflies, one of my favorite summer activities was to catch them and then let them go. We'll see that in our next story coming up right here.
This next story is 10 Flashing Fireflies, written by Philemon Sturges and illustrated by Anna Wojcik. We are going to be catching all of the fireflies that are around the board and putting them in this jar so we can watch their firefly light shine. I hope all of my friends out there help me catch them as we're talking about the story. Did you see them up close? Look at that. They have shiny parts. Just like their lights. Okay, I'll put that last one back up. What do we see in the summer night? Ten flashing fireflies burning bright. Catch the one twinkling like a star. Catch! Now there's one firefly in our jar. What do we see in the summer night? Nine flashing fireflies burning bright. Capture another one. Pitch. Now there are two flashing in our jar. What do we see in the summer night? Eight twinkling fireflies blinking bright. Let's catch another one. Now there are... Three twinkling fireflies in our jar. What do we see in the summer night? Seven bright fireflies. What a sight. Catch the one by the bush. Catch. Now there are four flickering fireflies in our jar. What do we see in the summer night? Six sparkling fireflies blinking bright. Catch the one flying so high. Catch. Now there are five fiery fireflies in our jar. What do we see in the summer night? Five fiery fireflies burning bright. Get the one that's way up here. Catch. Now there are six sparkling fireflies in our jar. What do we see in the summer nights? Four flickering fireflies flashing lights. Let's catch another one. Boop. Now there are seven bright fireflies in our jar. What do we see in the starry nights? Three twinkling fireflies, glowing lights. I've caught another one. Catch! Now there are eight twinkling fireflies in our jar. What do we see in this dark blue night? Two, two flashing fireflies, golden lights. We've caught another one. Catch! Now there are nine flashing fireflies in our jar. What do we see in the darkest night? One flashing fireflies, lonely lights. I'm glad we've caught it, because now there are ten flashing fireflies in our jar. Let's go to bed by the jar's bright light. Pull up the covers and say good night. Watch them all carefully. Look, they're blinking so slowly in our jar. Open the jar. It's much more fun watching them fly away one by one. Fly out to the window and flash goodbye. Fly away, fly away, firefly. Let's count down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Dash away, flash away, now there are none.
The end. Oh, friends, I hope if you do catch fireflies that you let them go. It's important for them to be around for all of us in our ecosystem. That means the place and the animals and the nature that we all live together. Let's hear another rhyme all about an animal that it's very good luck if they fly and land on you. I'll tell you what animal that is in our next activity. Are you ready to find out which bug or insect it's lucky to have land on you? It's a ladybug. Miss Katie, that's not a ladybug. Ladybugs are red with black spots. We saw that when we read Lenny in the Garden. Well, this ladybug is playing a color game. Let's see if we can help them find their red body. Let's play a ladybug color game. I'll give you rhyming clues. If you know it, say the name of each color that we use. The first color for our buggy fellow is the color of sunshine. It's the color yellow, just like we already said. Great job. You ready to see the next color? Frogs in the pond and a fresh green bean. Did you guess the color? It's the color green. Very nice job. The sky above and the ocean too. Such a beautiful color. It's the color that's still not red. I think we'll have to keep going. Strawberry ice cream. Go ahead and think. Were you right? It's the color pink. Were you right? Yes. Yes. Some of my friends were right. And some of my friends might not know that one, and that's okay, too. Let's try another. Grapes for jelly on a PB&J. What is the color that we say? Purple. That's my favorite color. Pumpkins or basketballs rolling by. That's the color that we now spy. Pumpkins and basketballs. That must be the color orange. Excellent. Fluffy clouds and the moon at night. Did you guess the color white? We've seen so many colors. Do you think if we all try really hard and think, think so hard of the color red? Let's see if we can get the ladybug to be red. Roses that grow in a garden bed are this beautiful color, the color red. Oh, yay, look at our ladybug. Ladybug, ladybug, up in the sky. Thanks for the fun. Now we say goodbye. Well, goodbye to the ladybug, but don't leave just yet. We have one more story and one more activity. This is one of my favorite bug and insect stories of all time. It is The Very Hungry Caterpillar, written and illustrated by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, on a leaf, lay an itty bitty little egg. There's the egg. One Sunday morning, 
the moon went down and the warm sun came up and out of that little egg pops pop a very tiny and very hungry caterpillar he started to look for some food mm, that's what i would do if i was feeling hungry on monday he ate through one apple right there but he was still hungry oh friends when i say still hungry i'm gonna rub my tummy still hungry on tuesday the very hungry caterpillar ate through two pears two pears but he was still hungry on Wednesday, the very hungry caterpillar ate through three purple plums. Three purple plums. But do you know what? He was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four red strawberries. Four red strawberries. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. Five oranges. But he was still hungry. Oh my goodness, friends. That is a lot of fruit. I like that the very hungry caterpillar ate lots of different kinds of fruits. Apples, pears, plums, strawberries, and oranges. Five different kinds. Do you remember, he said he was still hungry. So let's put all of this fruit down and see what the very hungry caterpillar eats next. On Saturday... The very hungry caterpillar ate through one piece of chocolate cake and one ice cream cone and one pickle and one slice of Swiss cheese and one slice of salami and one lollipop one piece of cherry pie, one whole sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Wow, very hungry caterpillar. That's a lot for you to eat. Was he still hungry? No. That night, the very hungry caterpillar had a stomach ache. Oh, all this food gave him a stomach cake. Let's put it away and see what happens next. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. He wasn't hungry anymore, but he also wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. <gasps> he built himself a cocoon, a chrysalis, which is a small house. And he went inside and he stayed there for more than two weeks. Oh, that is a very, very long time to wait, friends. But then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. And the very hungry caterpillar was a beautiful butterfly. The end. 
Oh, friends, I really like that story of transformation, of going from being a caterpillar to being a butterfly. Let's sing one more song together all about different motions that a butterfly can pretend to do. Our last song for today is called Flutter, Flutter, Butterfly, and it's to the tune of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. I brought a butterfly friend to sing with us. Butterfly loves to wave to all the friends out there. And we are going to float our butterflies. If you would like to play along, you can make your own hands be a butterfly. You can connect them like this and flap like this. You can just touch your thumbs together and flap. Or if you want to be a big butterfly all on your own, you can make your arms be the wings. It's up to you, friends. But our butterfly is going to float through the sky, floating, going very gently as we sing. Flutter, flutter, butterfly, floating in the spring sky, floating by for all to see, floating by so merrily. Flutter, flutter, butterfly, floating in the spring sky. That's what butterflies really do. They flap their wings and they glide and they flutter. But this isn't a real butterfly. I know. And they like to do silly things like jumping. Are you ready? Jumping, jumping butterfly, jumping in the spring sky, jumping by for all to see, jumping by so merrily, jumping, jumping butterfly, jumping in the spring sky. And this butterfly also likes to spin. Wow, you see, it's got some good wind. Yes. Are you ready? Spinning, spinning butterfly, spinning in the spring sky, spinning by for all to see, spinning by so merrily, spinning, spinning butterfly, spinning in the spring sky. Oh, we'll let Butterfly and all of my friends out there take a breather very quick. You might be feeling dizzy. <sighs> Big breaths. Okay, our last one is maybe the silliest of all. This butterfly loves to play hide and seek. Can you hide the butterflies that you've been using for our song too? Here we go. Hiding, hiding, butterfly, peeking in the spring sky, peeking by for all to see, peeking by so merrily, hiding, hiding, butterfly, peeking in the spring sky. Excellent job, friends. Butterflies waving goodbye. And we'll get ready for our own coming up next. I have had such a great job today with you as we've read three of some of my favorite insect and bug books. And we played two guessing games. The first was about bug sounds and the second was about colors. And then I liked being very silly with my favorite butterfly puppet. I liked the part most where they were hiding and then peeking. Absolutely the best. Well, thank you so much for watching, friends. This is our last Tell Me a Story for spring of 2021. And you can look at the newsletter, Summer Lines, that just came out, or visit our website, glenviewpl.org, to find out more about the upcoming events programs, and activities for summer, including our summer challenge. And if you're missing Tell Me a Story, remember that you can go back and watch the Tell Me a Stories from previous weeks and even previous seasons. There are now 20 Tell Me a Story videos for you to watch whenever you feel like having a story time. 
I hope to see you soon, friends, whether it's virtually or in person. Until then, goodbye!